the safety and effectiveness of COVID-19 vaccines in preventing serious disease, hospitalizations and death cannot be overemphasized. The evidence is all around us. While the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs notes an increase in the uptake of the vaccine over the last two months, the assertions put forward regarding the safety and efficacy of vaccines by a segment of the population does not go unnoted. Clearly, this is driving a level of vaccine hesitancy in the population and affecting the uptake of the vaccines. The COVID-19 vaccine was created quickly, but was carefully tested for safety. These vaccines were made using processes that have been developed and tested over many years and are designed to make vaccines quickly in the case of infectious disease pandemics, such as COVID-19. The COVID-19 vaccine themselves were extensively tested and millions have been safely vaccinated to date. There have been concerns about side effects and COVID-19. COVID-19 vaccine side effects are temporary and do not mean that you are sick. COVID-19 vaccines do not contain live virus and as such you cannot and will not contract COVID-19 from getting vaccinated. The symptoms, if any, that one experiences after getting vaccinated does not mean that the individual has COVID-19. It is the body's immune system's response where the body learns to recognize and fight the COVID-19 virus. We do know that there are persons who experience prolonged symptoms and therefore encourage them to report this to the healthcare provider. This is part of the monitoring and evaluation process of the COVID-19 vaccination program. Another frequently asked question is whether one can take the vaccine after having been infected with COVID-19 and how soon after. If someone already had COVID-19, getting the vaccine will add extra protection. It is indeed safe for someone to take the vaccine soon after recovery. While evidence suggests that there is some level of immunity for those who've had been infected with COVID-19, it is not known how long that immunity lasts, how long that one will be protected from getting COVID-19 again. Additionally, the level of immunity provided by the vaccine after having COVID-19 is higher than that of those who had COVID-19 but not subsequently vaccinated. As of Saturday, 2nd October 2021, 18.5% of the population has been fully vaccinated, accounting for 33,391 persons. 7.25% is partially vaccinated, accounting for 13,141 persons. Of the partially vaccinated, 2,964 persons are overdue for the second dose of the vaccine, signifying an increase of over 1,000 persons over a two-week period. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs continues to appeal to persons who are due for the second dose of the vaccine to access one of the vaccination sites. You are only guaranteed full protection after having received the complete regime of the vaccine. The data continue to show higher rates of hospitalization and deaths in the partially vaccinated and unvaccinated. Further, we are all looking towards the return of normal social functioning. High vaccine coverage means a chance to get closer to normal. Although no one knows how long the pandemic will last, we do know that everyone who gets vaccinated helps us move closer to the normal life we look forward to. Mm -hmm.